So she didn't say my name. My name is JD. How you guys doing today? So I guess it's a little different coming to a bar with beer and talk about a youth program when I kind of want to just get drunk and kick it with y'all. But uh, anyway, so so I guess they started the slide already, but they said that they had a topic called the beginning. And so I guess for mine, it was the beginning of change because what I'm about to talk about now has actually changed my life and changed a lot of kids' life that we work with. So this here is the start of us taking on the initiative of childhood obesity and what could we do to help fight that cause. Um, we did a casting call and got probably about 50 or more kids to come out. Um, I'm trying to see how we're, we're gonna do with the flow here. You gotta, you gotta work with me real quick. There we go. And so then we finally picked, I'm just skipping ahead real quick, right? So we finally picked a few kids to be in this video around childhood obesity and just creating a fun way to help kids learn about nutrition, get back out and exercise, and all the things that they're not doing right now. Because the problem we're having is kids by the age of 12 are getting uh, diagnosed with type 2 diabetes. Um, they're saying now that the kids that are growing up are going to die two to five years sooner than we will. So I mean, we're, I mean, we're having heart attacks now at like 30 and 40 years old. They're saying these kids are having them in, like, in their 20s. So these are some of the practices we were having with the kids, and they're coming out and learning the different exercises. And you can see the big uh, hairy guy in the middle there is Rodney Raccoon. And so we use this character, Rodney Raccoon, to educate kids through music and multimedia to get them excited about some of the different things they need to learn. This is one of the kids in the video, um, and his sister is actually behind him, so you know how sisters pick on brothers, but little uh, Nicholas didn't care too much. He was enjoying himself. Um, that's little JJ. So our plan, as you can see, the diversity in the video was just to grab a bunch of different kids from around the community. Um, being from Tacoma, you know it's a big melting pot anyway of all different colors, shapes, sizes, et cetera. And so that was our plan. Let's grab every kid we can, bring them together. We're all going to work on this initiative of childhood obesity and create this fun, well, I don't want to tell you the whole thing yet. We create this video to teach them a better way to eat and live. And so we also had a lot of community support. Here we were doing everything at the YMCA, not in this thick here, the one that just passed. Uh, at the YMCA and they donated the space and let us do all of the practices there. And it took us about, I don't know, about three months working with these kids here. Um, and then now this look here is we're at Comcast. We're actually getting ready to shoot the video. So the kids are all getting ready. It's their first time seeing it. They're, they're getting their makeup put on. So what we try to do a lot of times is create the big feel, the big action thing for the kids. Um, as opposed to the some of the things they only get to see. So we want to kind of relate that you can take a craft and basically do it on the next level. It's another little girl in the video, actually a good friend of mine, his little daughter, um, Brynn. So you can see the kids, they had a lot of fun putting this together. Like I said, just coming here today was just a little different for me, just coming in the bar to talk about kids. I mean, it's just a little different, but it's okay. You guys work with me. We're going to make this work. So here we, um, that's Mary. She's actually a, a personal trainer, and she developed all the exercises for the kids. So we actually took a lot of time developing the exercises to see where we could safely take a kid's heart rate and bring it back down. And then all the nutritional things we did in the video was done by health educators uh, for multi-care and their nutritionists. So here's another uh, picture here of the kids on the green screen. And for those who don't know what green screen is, it basically we shot on this and was able to insert a cartoon background. So when the video was done, all these kids would be like in a little cartoon world uh, doing all the different exercises. There's another flick there, they're actually getting it going there. You can see JJ is really getting into it. <laughs> And actually, when I tried to do the exercise, I got a little tired. Uh, kind of showed my age a little bit. I couldn't quite, quite get down like the little youngsters anymore. Here's another picture there. 
and it just shows how much fun they had. And so that's, that's kind of what we do is we, we can take lessons and make them fun. You know, kids, a lot of times, they, don't, they won't sit down and, and listen about childhood obesity. But if you can make it fun, make exercise fun, make learning nutrition fun, and all those different things, I mean, the kids that just really get into it. Another flick here at Comcast Studios. Um, like I was saying, we had a lot of support. Uh, Sequoia Foundation, oh my gosh, uh, Comcast, the YMCA, the Boys and Girls Clubs, um, they all got behind this, this push around childhood obesity. And here's another picture here of the kids um, shooting at the green screen at Comcast. So this I we shot everything in about five days. We worked the kids to, well, I better not say that. We worked the kids a lot. Um, they had a lot of fun. We brought them in at like 8 o'clock in the morning, and he is not doing nothing bad for the kids. For all y'all with the wrong minds, because you're drinking, stop thinking like that. <laughs> but uh, you can also go to our website, RodneyRaccoon.com, and kind of see everything else that we're doing with kids. That's another picture there. As you guys can see, though, like I said, they just had a whole bunch of fun uh, doing this. So when you ask why, you know, or what can it do? What can this video really do to help the kids? So first of all, we cover things like the food pyramid. So it'll help give the kids, you know, increase their knowledge of the food groups uh, and increase their knowledge of nutrition functions. We're trying to encourage healthy living and also provides a convenient way to exercise at home or school because you know they've taken a lot of the PE classes out of school and things like that. So this is another way that parents can do it at home with the kids, and that's the group of kids they're all giving up to Rodney, Rodney Raccoon peace on. Um, and then just another quick note, because I think my time is about up. The CDC and the state and federal government spend like 1,000 times more to treat disease than prevent it. They say we spend 150 billion a year to fight things that we can solve with, uh, you know, around childhood obesity. So if you guys want to support the cause, we did do a kid's video. We have flyers in the back. Check us out, RodneyRaccoon.com. I'm going to be here hanging out with y'all. You know, I may be drunk by the end of the night. But don't, don't let that affect what we do in my day job. All right? Thanks.